Good morning. Today our goal is to calculate the static coefficient of friction for three different objects. So to do this, we'll have to measure two quantities, distance x and distance y. As you can see from the diagram, distance x and distance y are defined here. Throughout this experiment, distance x will be 55.0 centimeters. This quantity will not change. Distance y, however, will vary throughout the experiment. Distance y will depend upon the object being used and where we place the object on the piece of wood. For this example, distance y is 29.9 centimeters. Notice where distance y is measured. It's measured below the plank. Here's the table we're going to complete. Today we'll determine the static coefficient of friction for an eraser, candle, and a ruler on a piece of wood. So to determine the force of friction, it's given by the formula force of friction equals the static coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force. This symbol is a Greek letter, it's mu, and it stands for the static coefficient of friction. One can show that the static coefficient of friction is equal to tan theta. And so how is theta defined? Well, going back to this diagram, theta is defined as the angle between the plank and the tabletop. Remember, tan theta is equal to the opposite side of the angle over the adjacent side with respect to the angle. And so for this situation, tan theta is equal to opposite side, distance y, divided by distance x, the adjacent side. So today, to determine the static coefficient of friction, we'll be using the ratio of distance y to distance x. So here's the experiment. I'm going to slowly lift the plank until the eraser begins to move. As soon as I see it begin to move, right now, I'm going to stop lifting the plank. Please record that value for distance y. Now I'm going to do this two more times. Again, once I stop lifting the plank, please record the distance y value. Right around, right around now. Record that value. Notice I'm going very slowly. It's important to lift the plank slowly throughout this experiment. Here's the candle. Once again, I'm lifting it very slowly. And the moment it begins to move, I stop lifting it and you have to record the distance Y. This is an experiment that you could certainly do at home. You would just need to find a plank to do this at home. And here's the ruler. There's the first distance y. Second distance y. And the final distance y.
Now, for those of you interested where we get the formula mu equals tan theta, or the static coefficient of friction equals tan theta, I'm going to explain that for you now. This is the force diagram for any of the objects. Friction opposes motion, normal force is perpendicular to the plank, and the force of gravity acts downwards. We're going to take the force of gravity and make a triangle with it. In other words, we're going to find the components of the force of gravity that are parallel to the y-axis as defined in the diagram and the x-axis. Notice that for the component of gravity that is parallel to the y-axis, we have the formula Fg cosine theta. It's cosine because it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Notice for the component of gravity that is parallel to the x-axis, we have the formula Fg sine theta. Sine because it's opposite over hypotenuse. Just before the object begins to slide, the acceleration is zero. So I was trying to mimic that in the experiment. The moment I saw it slide, I stopped lifting the plank. So in theory, all of those distance y's are probably one or two millimeters less than the value we recorded. When the acceleration is zero, we have two relations here. In the y-axis, we have that the normal force is equal to the force of gravity times cosine theta. For the x-axis, we have that the force of friction is equal to Fg sine theta. In other words, everything has to be balanced. The forces have to be balanced when the acceleration is zero. And that's what these two statements here are saying. Now recall that the force of friction is equal to the static coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force. So if you wish, you could substitute for the force of friction this expression, Fg sine theta, and for the normal force, you can substitute Fg cosine theta, and one can show that the static coefficient of friction is equal to tan theta. So remember, your goal today is to complete the table. Have a great day. Bye-bye.